Following is going to be a video on the CZ Multitester IP Tester using it as a network cable tester using TDR and showing you how to work the tablet section of this thing so that you might be able to look up a Word document that you have put into it and I have another video about Word Excel and how to handle that stuff so what we're gonna do here is go to internal go to do 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 CCTV tester manual go to cable tester TDR test I created this page it did not come in the unit and the cleanliness of the page shows you what you can do when you can load a page into this and I showed like I said on another video on how to do that but a TDR test is a time domain reflectometer test is an electronic instrument that uses time domain reflectometry to characterize and locate faults in metallic cables for example twisted pair wire or coax cable it can also be used to locate a locate discontinuities in a connector printed circuit board or any other electrical path now another thing this can be used for is if you have a ground fault in a fire or security system you can create a plug to plug onto this and do the same thing with those that's just a hint so if we push the return button it walks you know each step walks it out and then we go to the cable tester and then down here you have come on focus RJ45 TDR tester press on that and here is your tester you have test once repeat test which you would use repeat test if you're working on cables and you don't want to have to keep playing with the tester it will continue the test because that test is subject the test results are subject to change according to your playing on the wire you can do an advanced test which is a little bit more than we're interested in right now and just for the sake of in some people say the way to make money on it is you can create a report that lets them know let's just say if you have a wire that's 500 feet long this device can tell you how far out the wire goes before you end up with a broken wire or a shorted wire or a grounded wire it will tell you that on that report so you can turn that in and do a bid on what it would take to properly get it done well over here on the bottom side you have LAN 1 and LAN 2 up here it's called link 1 and link 2 but down here I have a network cable it's a crossover cable that is capable of reporting the distance of that cable because I have the other end plugged into the tester that comes with this unit that you plug into to verify that it is a functioning crossover cable I have another video on how to do that I just have it on this right now so that the 
tester will actually see the end of the line. So we press the test once button and it will go out and send a signal and if you'll notice right here on the length it has various lengths on it which means it did go out find something and then come back. The reason why these are various lengths is because it's actually looking through a tester. If I were to take that tester off like this bye bye and then I test it again test once those numbers have all changed waiting for the focus I'm sorry about the focus but they have in fact changed there we go I guess I had to slap this thing around a little bit now they're all four O's and a four eight that point eight literally means not much of anything it did go out and it did come back that was the important part now the reason why I have this thing on is because I have a loopback tester plug that you plug into a computer so that it talks to itself and it's real important to notice that this loopback tester will also make this device talk to itself and what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into LAN or LINK 2 because it's in link 2 right now it's showing zeros I do that test once again and it changes you'll notice it says online with no length that's because it's talking to itself the reason why it says the IP the current IP already exists is because this device has an IP name and address in it and that address is talking to itself as you can see by the orange light how it flashes it's talking to itself that is how you can use this this uh, length can be 50 feet this length can be a thousand feet but if there's a short in this in the circuitry it will show you through those circuits which wires are shorted together which wires are open and which wires are not the reason why this is down on the bottom is showing opens is because a loop back tester does not require terminals four no five seven and eight have no wires on them a loop back tester plug five seven and eight have no wires on them if I unplug it it's going to keep that as showing online because that is a sudden screen if I were to push this test once again now they all show open and that is how you do a TDR test of a wire that it can tell you if that wire is a thousand foot long it will tell you where the break is it will tell you where the short is and it'll tell you if it's functioning normally I don't have the wire here to show you but I did in fact take a wire and short it together and on here it said short this attenuation will also tell you if depending on the length of wire that you're having if you're gonna lose any signal down that wire and that comes in handy when you can only go so far with a network wire as to whether you're actually gonna run out 
of wire run out of signal before you run out of wire and have to reboost it. This will tell you that. So if you have an IDC somewhere out in the field, or no, the intermediate, yeah, if you have one of those out in the field and M, MD, if, an IDF, not an IDC, if you have an IDF out in the field <coughs> and it's having problems getting a signal, this is the way you can tell if you're losing any signal on that wire before it gets to the IDF, whether the IDF is getting a pure signal or not. That's what that attenuation is about. You can test two lines on it at the same time if you wish. But that is how it works on this particular tester. Thank you much.